So I'm back in Flame Painter and what I want to do, I want to edit one of my images or I want to add some things to it. Let me see if that goes well. Yes, there it is. This is the image I want to edit. So here's an image for the cathedral I did. That is in sketchbook, sketch this all with some monks going through towards this church. And what I want to do, I want to add some light effect and I want to add a little bit of fog here on the ground. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some poles and poles that can be those light poles. And I'm going to start just down here. And for that, I'm going to go to take the brush the particle system I'm gonna do the liner and I'm gonna pick one of those lines and let me do the industrial but put it to quite small otherwise it will not match these poles and let me try if this is the right one yes this is probably the right one this is the right one so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a layer on top first of all Make sure I've got black, yep, and just regular paint mode, no blending mode. And I'm gonna just sketch in some poles. That will be the first pole. The second pole, I want one here in front of the tree as well. would be just behind this stone here and I'm going to add one here too and let's do one here and a final one right there that will be the pole so what I want to do I want to have fire add fire on top of this so for that I'm going to go to the fuzzy one and I think at the bottom of the fuzzy one is somewhere there should be fire or do I want to have the flame? No, I don't want to do one have the flame. And I want to have the bonfire. There's various fires you can choose from. I'm going to choose the bonfire. And probably this is going to be a huge bonfire. Looks pretty cool though. But that is a bit too big. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it smaller and just add some fire to it. And I don't want that fire. And there's another one. Here's another pole. I might make it a bit smaller for this one. So that I can add some sparks and effects to this one just a bit different than the previous ones and this one I want a bit larger again and there's one more here and that's very nice good let's have a look at what we've created and that was a very easy way of adding some fire. Now I want to have some color too in these windows and pretending there's lights and I could do that with sparks or different kind of fire. Let's take a look. Light trails, no that would be too much. Oh, let's try the glowing spiral and for that I'm going to add another layer but a layer under my painting let's see just just let's see first what happens that would be perfect see that and I'm on purpose I'm making a mess of it because I'm gonna not worry about it for now I'm gonna just take an eraser and erase some of that stuff I might do another layer on top of it. Now I'm going to use the eraser and all the excess I'll just erase away again. Save 
same here. And the same here. I think I might erase this one totally. That didn't work as it should. And let me just, while I'm here, go back and add that one now. Better. There you go. And that is better. I'm not gonna erase this one too in a minute. So, oh. take that one a bit better. Erase this one. See if we can do that a little bit better with that. Might do a bit more. Bit less opacity. I want to add a few more lines. I want to make it probably a bit smaller. Oh, bigger indeed. Like that. That is better. And now I want to erase the excess that I've created in here too. And this I want to erase too, probably, and try that again. A bit too enthusiastic. And that is better. And so I'm using Flame Painter to add some special effects to my painting which normally probably wouldn't do, but now uh, this looks pretty cool like that. Get a bit of the stained glass window idea here. Bit of excess there too, so it's great that they included an eraser. And there we go. Nice. Oh, Don't do that one. <laughs> this one I need to do. I do another layer on top of that. See if we can get a different effect as well. Um, for the next one, I'm going to use elastic. I'm going to use ethereal. Ethereal. I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to do that. The opacity really low on this one. Try to put that a little bit higher, like that. Like that. That's better. And get that effect going. This is more. Probably start over here again. Ah, much better. And now we're getting closer to it. Erase whatever went wrong is too much. Over there, and that would be it. That would be my stained glass windows. And then the last thing, the next thing, and the last thing for this video, I want to do. I want to add some fog here, and for that, I'm gonna go to the fuzzy one. And there's clouds on the fuzzy one. I'm use these clouds white clouds but I don't want the opacity all the way so I'm gonna add some clouds and let's see oh, these are perfect already 
Let's add a layer of clouds here, just roughly. Add a layer of clouds on there. And then a smaller one down here. I'm going to add one more layer and leave that the opacity a lot higher so that I can get a little bit of a depth layer effect to it here. Good. And then I'm going to add one more layer but under that because I want to have some on the back too but not as strong, less strong, probably a bit bigger. That would work. And some there. And now I gotta zoom in and see what I have to erase. Down, no, that's not good. Erase down there a little bit. Make that eraser a bit smaller. Because this is in front of that. That's the nice thing about being able to work in layers. I'll leave that and here I'm gonna add erase down on the path, whatever is above the path can stay, whatever is under it needs to go away and that would be basically it. And that is the way you can use Flame Painter to add some great special effects and I'm gonna hit the tap on my keyboard and show the whole image in one go. So Flame Painter can be greatly incorporated into your regular artworks, get some great special effects and bring in some real special things to your artwork. It's pretty cool and uh, I really enjoy this program. So thank you for watching this video. And if you are interested in Flame Painter 4, then the links are below.